More local at 9. You're watching the Fox 42 News at 9. The popularity of track and field may pale in comparison to Husker football, but it was hard to miss a certain shot putter at UNL. 1998 graduate Tressa Thompson shattered school records and she was Olympic bound until drugs took all of that away. It took eight years, a popular TV show and her own willpower to bring her back to where she is today. Tressa Thompson had a gift. I've never seen anybody that was so gifted on going to the top of things just so fast. But as fast as her dad watched his star athlete go to the top at UNL, he watched her hit bottom even faster. She had everything going on. She had this one perfect little life going, but drugs just robbed everything. This small town Nebraska farm girl was a star shot putter at UNL from 95 to 98. She became a three time NCAA champion and 10 time All American. I, I try to get in there and get the job done while my competitors are sitting at home, maybe thinking about getting it done. It was that drive that made her a favorite for the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, but it also drove her drug addiction. She tested positive just days before the Olympic trials. I didn't know how to handle it and I knew I was going to have to face the music and tell my coach and my family and people there in Sacramento at the trials. For the next eight years, Tressa went from being a world-class athlete to a world-class meth addict. I lost my car, I lost my home, I lost my job and then I had to turn to the streets. She tried rehab four different times but it was the A&E TV show intervention that finally got through to Tressa. Really, I just thought it was a documentary, and so they had me tricked because, to tell you the truth, most drug addicts ain't watching TV. Intervention showed just how desperate Tressa had become. She would steal from her own dad to make drug deals in Omaha. Her only goal, to get that fix. I am an addict. The show set up an intervention with Tressa's family and sent her to an all-expense-paid rehab in California. She completed a 90-day program and now calls California home. Words can't explain what the amount of joy and excitement I have uh, for my whole life again. Something clicked when Tressa went to California. Tressa's dad says he talks to his daughter in California quite a bit now. Well, he realizes what drugs have done to her body, he says he wouldn't be surprised if she returned to the top just as quickly as she hit bottom. You never count Tressa out. You just don't. As for Tressa, she started throwing again, but isn't putting any pressure on herself. If I ever compete in the Olympics again, would be great. If not, that's fine too. I'm okay with that today. Well, Tressa tells us that she has been drug free for more than six months. She's now teaching weightlifting to kids at a California gym, and she's also coaching shot put for a high school track team. She hopes one day to start an addiction program aimed at helping other athletes. Well, whether you want a sub or a club, there are plenty of choices when it comes to getting.